Friends, welcome back to the No Laying Up Pick Show, Preview Show, presented by the DraftKings Sportsbook, DJ Pi. Happy, thrilled, excited to be joined by Solly and Tron here in the Kill House. Back, baby. Of course, the Strap Boys are at large. We're going to get to their picks. Uh, you know, of course, they're going to phone in picks. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're working just that hard for the people. This week, we're going to Memphis. Obviously, a stacked field. A low-key, really good golf course uh, that I think was looked over for a long time when the field was not very stellar. Uh, Solid, what, what comes to mind when, when you think about this event? It's a golf course that rewards a lot of different styles of play. It is not a prerequisite that hit it far. It very, very strongly emphasizes uh, approach play. That is where uh, players will separate themselves, and that's going to be reflected in my picks, which we'll get to here shortly. Tron, a true ball-striking fiesta. I know that always gets you excited. Uh, you know, Is that going to influence your picks? A little bit. Small greens, but I'm more concerned about what's going on out in Reno. Tahoe. Oh, of course. <laughs> out of Tahoe. <laughs> of course. Well, without further ado, let's uh, let's see what the Strap Boys have cooked up. I believe uh, they're kind of up in the northern part of the country, and, and of course, I'm sure they're going to have some very interesting bets. How does he do it? How? I don't know. The Short Hill Sharp coming to you live back in BK. Won a couple last week. Max cashes top 20. Struck a flock of flame, cashes. We like that. So the kid's feeling himself, and he's going to get a little bit more technical this week. Um, four bets, one of them parlay. We'll start there. We've got Justin Thomas over John Rahm, plus Webb Simpson over Bryson DeChambeau, plus Matthew Fitzpatrick over Lord Tyrell Hatton. That parlay of three picks, we're going to put 50 nuggets on that. It's going to pay out uh, plus 682. So that's half the Nuggets. Straight 1-2 finish bet, 10 Nuggets. JT in first, Xander Shoffley in second. That's plus 19,000. We like those odds. A 20 Nugget bet, plus 225 for JT to top five. We know JT loves the limited field events. Those are just about the only thing he wins. And, uh, of course, uh, the last 20 Nuggets, Ches Reavy, top 20 for plus 275. There you have it, folks. Guys, found a couple winners in the woods last week. Got Max Homa, thought he was gonna win it. My guy Harry English, absolutely flushing the ball. All right, got some uh, nationality plays this week. First up, Ian Poulter, top English bloke, plus 650, I'm putting 15 points on it. Sung JM, I'm going top Asian player, plus 300, putting 15 points on it. And finally, Corey Connors, Plus 250, top Canadian, pride of Kent State, putting another 15 on it. And now I'm, uh, my other three plays are one-on-one -on -one matchups. Got to go with my guy Rick, plus 100, putting 15 points on that over Jason Day. Taking JT over Rom, minus 110, putting 15 points on that. And then finally, give me Spieth, minus 110 over Paul Casey, 15 points on that. Come on, there's some winners in these woods. Let's go. All right, listen, of course, uh, exciting stuff. Nice to see those boys wet their beaks a little bit with some winning some winning bets. That's very cool. The, uh, bugs, the bugs were chirping at Randy a little bit. They, they, started, they got escalated <laughs> as the longer he went. Solly, uh, you know, speaking of winning bets, uh, you've, you know, much like your boy Tony Finau, right on the precipice of greatness there last well, week. That could have been a safer bet last week. I'm, I'm just mad I didn't do all my nuggets on a top 10. Of course, we wanted to go for the win uh, for Finau just to rub it in everybody's face. But we'll, we will settle for a winning week. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, with that, I'll give you the floor. What, what do you got okay. cooked up? Well, <laughs> I know you're not supposed to touch your face uh, during this quarantine period, but uh, we'll see if you guys can piece this together, okay? Okay. Booger? I'm picking bugs. <laughs> I'm picking bugs this week. Daniel Berger, plus 3,020 nuggets and plus 275 for a top 10, 30 nuggets. So 50 of my nuggets are going on Burger. Well, of course, I don't need to tell you guys about his course history don't here. Don't need to even tell us about the course Any history. concerns about the date change, though? Not even a little bit. Second in strokes gained, thanks to Justin Ray, since uh, the PGA Tour, the return to golf, if you will, behind just Bryson DeChambeau. Uh, great iron player. I, I'm, I'm pushing half my chips in on Berger. Uh, Abe answer. We saw how good he hit the ball at the RBC Heritage. He's all about the stroke, the uh, the strokes gained approach. He's plus forty five hundred. I'm going ten nuggets on and him. He's never told a lie. Never told a lie. <laughs> and he told me he is feeling very good going into this week. Uh, who? Great iron player. Who comes to mind? What's the first name that comes to mind? Tommy Fleetwood. 
Colin Morikawa, you said oh, okay, it yeah. right there. Plus twenty nine hundred for twenty nine for twenty nuggets. Uh, and then the guy that we just you know every few weeks we tend to forget about Webb Simpson plus yeah. twenty two hundred for twenty nuggets. I'm going four solo, different winners. Solo second here last year. Solo second here last year. I couldn't feel better about how I've got the board peppered this week. That is a true. The the ball strikers are lining up behind Solly right there. That's that's interesting. Tron, I feel like we shortchanged you on time last time you were on. I yeah. really I regret doing that, that, by the way, because that hand sanitizer was not fully settled in yet. <laughs> I feel like we shortchanged you on your time a little bit. Um, I know you've got some dumb <laughs> cooked up for this week, so the floor is yours. Yeah, I mean, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I apologize. People couldn't hear me last week. Uh, I didn't put in a lot of effort into my picks last week. I was at Ernie's having some having some beers on the lake. These are hard to do on the road. Yeah. Uh, first things first, uh, before I f*** you guys off, I'll go down my four standard bets. Mav McNeely, plus 7,000, doing five bucks on that to win. This is in Reno. Yes. Christopher Ventura, plus 5,500. Also, also in Reno. Five bucks to win or five units to win. Ryan Ruffles, Pinnacle Bank Championship. I believe that's in Omaha. Sure. Uh, Shout out to the County Crows. Plus 6,600 Why win. do you hate the kids? That's a great and point. I'm, and I'm going 5.2 5. units on that. And then Sungjae, <laughs> top five in Memphis. Okay. Five units there what's the odds plus on that 1400 okay and then we're gonna drop a bottle on them baby we're doing a heinz 57 <laughs> so these guys are all over me they're saying that this, this is illegal this is my way of getting back at i can't pepper the board this is illegal because we are only allowed five bets and this is by this definition is bet. 57 different this is bets. one bet okay Fifth then why don't you explain it so i'm going jt to win uh against john rom burger twin against woodland Sung Jay to win against Scotty Scheffler. That one pains me a little bit. Webb Simpson to win against Bryson. Fleetwood to win his group. You can look on the screen to see what his group is. And then Leishman to win his group. And uh, so it's six singles bets, 15 round robin bets, 20 uh, three pick round robin bets, 15 four pick round robin bets, six five pick round robin bets, and one mega six guy parlay. And if all of them hit, it's a 2,772 unit payout. So how much are you placing on each of these bets then? One, $1.40. So you have 1.4 points. So you took yeah. five bets and you made 57 bets. This is Correct. Yes. You the, took the habitual line this stepper. This is the definition of the TC way that, that you're seeing right now. This is absolutely disgusting. Sanction me. I, and I, like the worst part about it is I don't even know how to check whether you won or lost. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's all sorts of Heinz... Uh, Heinz 57 calculators. All right, well, I look. Okay, well, you. It sucks that we're gonna have to go to you and be like, you, you got to tell us how much you won because we don't know what the f you're doing. But kudos on. It sounds like a you problem. Kudos on you know f truly pushing the limits of this game. Uh, many people would say far past the legal limit. Bring us home, Deej. Uh All right, I don't. You know, people have gotten on me for uh, picking favorites, and you know the favorites have done very well in the hashtag Return to Golf. Guys, Rory's going to win this week. Look at the field. Look at the golf course. The McRib loves Pete Dye. He, is this I, a Pete Dye? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Hell yeah. He finished. Really? <laughs> finished four. I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> TPC Southwood. I really hope it's not. Uh, I'm continue. pretty sure it is. Uh, I finished T4, I believe, last year. Uh, he's plus 1150. I'm putting 40 nuggets to win 500. Ron Pritchard is the architect. <laughs> That's good. I didn't, that didn't pass the smell test. Really? You yes. better hurry up and wrap this up. All bud. right. I also have, like Neil, I have a uh, a matchup parlay here. Webb over Bryson. Morikawa over Hovland. Horschel over Finau. Shout out to Solly. And Rory over Cantlay. That's plus 1311. I'm going to put 20 on that to win 280. Max Homa, we told you, you heard it here first. He was he was trending. I think this is another good golf course for him. Uh, you know, ball strikers, Fiesta, plus 350 for a top 20. Uh, we we hit that one last week. We're going to hit it again here. Uh, that's 20 to win 90. Sam Burns, we're going to dance with who brought us last week. You were talking about Sam Feeling Burns. No, 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 no. I ran out of steam down he, the stretch. He, I was not talking. I was rooting him on, hoping said, that he God, was going to do more. Dang it, Sam Burns. Which he's going to do. At the Barracuda this week, he's plus 3,300 to win. Uh, we're going to put 10 to win 340. And just because I want to be there when it happens, uh, and just because we got a big oh lead, God. we're putting 10 on Jordan Speed oh, I thought you plus 7,000 uh, to win 700. I thought you were going to go fee now. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that'll wrap it up. Uh, come back next week. we got a mega episode for uh, the PJ Championship. So we'll see you back here. Then. And we'll use the whole thing going over my Heinz bet. Exactly. We will. <laughs>